showing you some views of the fog from Anniston to Columbiana, and you taught me something this morning, as you often do. Uh, what was that? <laughs> that fog does not lift. It does not. Yeah. Fog only occurs, not to get too technical, only occurs when the air temperature and your dew point are very close, mm -hmm. and it just saturates that air right there. Right. So it never really lifts. It so when, we, when we've heard that, it's just kind of a common saying that yeah. people say, but Technically, fog never lifts. Thank up. you. Yes, I you're like very welcome. <laughs> There's your fun fact for this Wednesday. <laughs> right. Let's take a look at what we are seeing outside today as the kiddos are getting up and at them on this Wednesday morning. Here's a look at that bus stop forecast. We may notice a few areas of dense fog, but those are going to quickly erode away. Maybe not lift. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 40s, although we're seeing a mixed sky right now. Temperatures are going to warm to the mid 70s with a sun filled sky later this afternoon. Much warmer today, and that warming trend continues through our Thursday as well, but may not feel on the warm side this morning, especially for many people waking up to 30s like Jasper, Double Springs, Coleman, Gadsden, Northeast Alabama. You are seeing a clearer sky with that clear sky. Those temperatures can cool very efficiently, but where we're seeing some cloud cover and even some morning fog, those temperatures are holding in the mid to upper 40s. Places like Tuscaloosa, Centerville, even up in Birmingham, down to Alabaster, 42 in Clanton right now. Here's a really neat picture. One of the advantages of having our storm track tower cam high atop Red Mountain kind of looking down over the city is we seriously get a uh, bird's eye view. So this is a perspective that is on top of the clouds. Now, if you are on street level, you're walking out your front door and you look up, you're going to see clouds. But what I get to see is the top of the clouds and I actually get to see sunshine. So the higher elevations may not be facing as much fog this morning, but definitely as you're driving around 49 in Birmingham, 38 in Anniston this morning with 47 in Tuscaloosa, breaking down your day hour by hour. Those temperatures are going to be climbing to around 70 by your noon time and then mid 70s later in the afternoon. I think we top out around 73, 74 degrees between about 2 and 4 p.m. And then those temperatures will be slipping into the 60s for your drive home later today. As we leap ahead as you're making those plans for football this weekend, it will finally feel like football. The last weekend did. It feels like it this weekend. You know, it's better late than never, right? 57 for that 6 o'clock kickoff in Tuscaloosa. Auburn fans will be welcoming Alabama A&M to town. 64 for that 630 kick. But here's what I do want to point out. Temperatures are going to be really, really cool this weekend post cold front movement on Friday. So cold front moves in Friday evening. That will bring us a chance of rain. That's really the big story. And it looks like coverage could be a bit better than what I was forecasting yesterday. So right now, late Friday night into Saturday morning is our best window of opportunity after you pretty much go to bed Friday, but before you wake up Saturday morning. And then those temperatures are going to be cooling pretty dramatically as we move into the weekend. And that's a look at your storm track seven day forecast. Now let's get a check on the roadways this morning. Here's Rachel 